I think um, I had a considerable amount of influence on the character of Annie because I, I knew both John and Deborah personally, and I had worked with John before, and uh, he he liked the the humor that I had brought to that other character or this the sarcasm and he and I had that sort of going strong in my personality at the time and he liked that and and wanted to uh, capitalize on that filmmaking is very hard it's very hard to make a movie much less a good movie and so much money and time and energy and effort is just wasted and doesn't make it onto the screen and you see all these movies they're flat you know how can you spend 150 million dollars and it's so flat well where where was the collective energy going that's the question you have to ask and on that film the collective energy was so present it was fun i wouldn't have said it in those words when I was making the film. But hindsight makes me realize that that's what was happening then. We did rehearse the death scene a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure why there was so much rehearsal. I'm not sure what was going on, but um, I do recall it taking more than the average number of takes and maybe it wasn't that we rehearsed it, it's just that we did a lot of takes and I was worried that my voice was going to give out. By the time, you know, I saw it on the big screen, what I was waiting for was the reaction, you know, in the audience. You know. And was that going to work or not? So, you know, it's, it's very much detached from any sort of emotion that the story might have been carrying at that, at that point. For me, sitting in the audience for the first time, you know, seeing it and with, with the audience, I was waiting to see, did it work or did it, didn't it, you know? And, and I was just thrilled, you know? I was I was very impressed that I could that I could scream that well on cue. <laughs>